guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you a new makeup tutorial. It is a back to school makeup tutorial and it's really quick and easy and it's something you could throw on your face to give you a little something something on days you want to put something more on your face, really. Um, I normally like to wear just my moisturizer SPF, um, curl my lashes, a bit of mascara, conceal here and there and some lip balm and that's what I really like to wear to school. It's really comfortable. But when there are days where I want to throw something more and look a bit more glam for school, this is what I actually throw on my face. And yeah, I hope you really guys like the tutorial. I hope it inspires you a bit more now that um, some of you are heading back to classes right now. Um, so yeah, please, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up and uh, let's go ahead and get started to the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Nivea Men After Shave Balm, Post Shave Balm. Um, and I'm going to prime my skin. And now I'm going to go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine Clear Transparent one. I haven't used this in a while, so I thought I would use it today. But normally I use the Nivea Post Shave Balm with a smoothing primer or mattifying primer around my T zone because I do get quite oily throughout the day. So I thought I would just use this. So I'm using the little sponge that comes with it. I quite like it. I've, I never used it before, but I think I like it. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab the L'Oreal BB Cream. I normally use a BB Cream or something light. It's something fresh and light, and it also has SPF. I think it has SPF 30. You want something with SPF to protect your skin, and since you are going to be, even though you're going to be in a classroom, the sun still comes inside, and sometimes you go out. And I just want to be protecting my skin. I don't grab too much because it's just to even out my complexion. It's not to uh, get a low get a low amount of coverage or something. So yeah, so I'm just going to apply it with my finger, and I'm going to blend it in with the Damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Even out my skin tone and you can still see through a, bit, a few imperfections and you can see my freckles so that is good I like to see I actually like to see my freckles throughout the day and for my skin to look quite natural I just want to even out my skin tone since I have redness and I am going to be concealing my under eyes and the few imperfections I don't want to be there so the first thing I'm using is the Clarence instant concealer and it's in the shade 02 and I'm going to use that to correct uh, the dark circles I have and it says smoothing long-lasting and revives tired eyes and I think it really does that since it is a salmon tone a peachy toned concealer so anyways I'm just going to grab a tiny tiny bit and put a little right where I have my dark circles so this is color correcting a bit and it's gonna revive my eyes like it said I think yeah that's enough I'm just going to tap it in with my finger quickly. I'm going to bring it all the way up here because I tend, if I sleep really late and I don't get that much sleep and stuff, I always get like really dark around here and it makes me look so much, like much more tired. So I'm going to put some there and then with a concealer, like a yellow toned concealer and a regular concealer, I'm going to actually conceal the rest of my face. So as you can see already, like I can, I, I seem much more awake and even and yeah, but I still want to get a bit more brightness and just like this scar right here and just a bit of redness. So yeah, I'm just going to conceal a little bit and I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. So I'm going to put some here. Around my nose, the bridge of the nose right here because I tend to get redness there. Here on my scarring and on this imperfection right here. I really like this concealer because it covers enough, like it still covers a bit that scar. It will not cover it completely because I do need to color correct it and, or use a fuller coverage foundation but I don't really mind. And it brightens up just enough without caking my face. 
left of concealer on the sponge I'm just going to put it on top of my eyelid that's kind of like my primer for the week I take I do this in about 10-15 minutes maximum if I'm taking so long and I'm too like slow in the mornings or something like that my complexion is much more even and then the next thing I'm going to do is right away I'm going to set my under eyes with loose powder I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder and I'm going to set me under eyes. My eye, my lid, and the sides of my nose here. A little tiny bit. I barely have anything on my sponge. My under eyes crease a lot, so I really like to like make sure that is set and it doesn't move. And that's it for powder. I'm not going to powder my face anymore, but now I'm going to use a spray quickly. I'm going to mist some Fix Plus on my face to set and like set all the powders so they don't look cakey or powdery. This is the time I like to actually put a subtle highlight and today I'm not using my regular highlight. I'm using MAC Light Scapade. And with my fan brush, grab a little bit of my light scape today. Like really highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bronze my face. So I know I just applied highlighter and you can see it goes so much. But I'm going to actually put some bronzer and it's going to blend a lot better with the highlighter I just put. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Master Makeup Artist Palette, something like that. I'll link it down below. And I'm going to use this shade right here with a dual fiber brush and I'm just going to bronze my face a tiny bit. Alright, next thing is blush. So, I'm going to grab my blush and brush. I'm going to go in with MAC Peaches Blush. And it's... It's this shade. It's a peachy tone. And I really like peachy tones for school. I, I think they're more natural. And then I'm going to grab a brush and actually buff the three of them together. So they blend really nicely. So I think we're done with the face. Now, I'm going to do my eyes, and the first thing I'm going to do is grab a cream shadow, and this is the Color Tattoo Pots by Maybelline. This one is on and on bronze, the classic on and on bronze, and I really like using like bronzy shades for school if I'm actually going to wear an eyeshadow. If not, I'm just, I just put like a brown matte through my crease, and that is it. So I apply on my lid. Now that I've got it on my lids, I'm actually going to blend it out with the Ecotools, what's this? Ecotools Correcting Concealer Brush. I like this for buffing out eyeshadows, you've already seen from my videos. So I'm just buffing it out slightly so there's no harsh lines, and then I can put like a crease color. And on my crease, I'm going to use this light brown shade just to blend everything out. I'm going to go in with the yellow shade and just buff the edges out. And then under uh, my eyes, on my lash line, I'm going to go with the same brown I used to buff the cream eyeshadow out. And just put it under my lash line. And then since you're normally tired and you're just sleepy and you make your eyes look really close, what you want to do is to look more awake at school. So what I am going to do is I'm going to actually grab a white eyeliner and this is just a Kajel eyeliner, eyeliner thing. And I'm going to apply it in my waterline just a little bit. What the eyeliner does is it opens up my eye a lot more. Look, it makes me look much more awake. I don't know if you can see it already from the camera. I can see it. I can definitely see it. Like, if you look really close, you may say, oh, it's just white eyeliner. But if you're far away, you look much more awake. 
and it looks like your eyes are wide open and you can fool everyone to think that you're actually wide awake when you're not. With the same brown that I used to put in my crease, I'm actually going to buff that white eyeliner out so that I don't have any like white um, eyeliner on my lashes or on my or under my lash line. I don't know how people can look away and do their eyeliner. I can't even put eyeshadow and look away. Now I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to use a powder to fill my eyebrows in. I'm going to do them very natural today. So if you want to have a lighter touch, you can hold your brush from the very back and it gives like a lighter feathery touch. And that is eyebrows done. So as you can see, I can I do these quite quick, but I'm actually just since I'm talking through and I'm showing what I do and how I hold the brush and everything, I take longer. But anyways, I do these really really quickly. I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs barking outside. I'm trying so hard. But anyways, I'm going to use an eyebrow gel, and this is the Maybelline Brow Drama in transparent. This transparent one is like a dupe for the Anastasia one, so I like using for like an everyday um, brow gel. But yeah, for as I was saying, for an everyday eyebrow gel, instead of using the Anastasia one and when you're going to school and stuff like that, since that shit is expensive, but it's really good, it's worth your money. I rather save it for when I actually want to put flawless eyebrows on. Like today's just combing them through and making them look presentable. Then I'm actually going to on to my lashes. And I'm going to curl my lashes because as you can see I have no curl in my lashes whatsoever. So what I like to do is I actually like to heat up my eyelash curler. I think I already said this tip a few videos back. I'm not sure. But I like to heat the eyelash curler when I'm not wearing any falsies. So I heat the eyelash curler a tad bit and then test it on my lip to see if it's too hot um, and so I don't burn my eyelid or anything because your lips are one of the most sensitive parts. It's, it's like really sensitive to heat and temperature so I'm going to heat it, test it on my lip or you can test it on the back of your hand whichever way you want and then actually curl my lashes and they keep my curl all day long. Especially, I pair it with a waterproof mascara and as I've said before, I use the Poopa Vamp waterproof mascara. This combination is like my the very best for when I have to curl my lashes and they stay up the whole day and it's amazing. So yeah, I'm just going to heat the eyelash curler. So I test it on my hand like this first to see if it's too hot. It is a bit hot so I'm just going to wait and keep on tapping until it's like cold enough. And then I also check on my lip. And that's cool enough so then I'm actually going to curl my eyelashes. Look at that. Look at the difference. Like, can you see that? I look much more awake with the eyeliner, the white eyeliner, and my eyelashes curled. There we go. Then we actually go in with mascara, and as I said, I'm using a Pupa Vamp waterproof mascara. For this, I like using waterproof mascaras because they hold the curl better than regular mascaras. Although, the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, the one, the tester I have, is really good for holding the curl. I already put it to the test. It's not as good as this one, but it's good. It holds the curl. Which is really nice. And there we go, that's mascara done. You can truly see the difference. I mean, I love it so much. I know I'm quite zoomed in to you guys right now, but I love doing this trick. I think it's my favorite tip of all time. Out of all the tips and tricks I have and have learned over the past years, this is my favorite one. Like, I, can, I cannot stop doing this. I love it so much. Right, for, so for lips, I always, before, every single time I put my makeup, before I put anything else on my face, I always like cleanse my face, moisturize, and then I put lip balm on to moisturize my lips. So my lips are already moisturized and sunk in. And then I go in with a lip liner, a pink lip liner, and a gloss. If I want to wear a gloss, today I'm using a gloss.
Alright, so that's them filled in, and then I'm going to go into the gloss now. This is the Patti Dubroff gloss in the shade Nude Glow. And it has a bit of shimmer, but you can't really see it. And then I am actually going to set my face. And I just, I don't like using, like, really setting it along for long wear because I'm going to be at school and it's just going to be comfortable. Like, I could touch my face and nothing could happen. So I'm just going to spray a bit of rose water on my face. You can use rose water, you can use Fix Plus, you can use a natural setting spray, you can use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Honestly, you could use anything. If you have oily skin, I do recommend a mattifying setting spray like the NYX one. Um, also, the Urban Decay one's also really good. The oil the D slick I think it's called. That one's really good if you want to use that for school, but since it's a bit expensive, I do recommend the next one. It just mattifies quickly and you're over. Um, I have really normal to combination skin. The only parts where I get oily is like around my nose, so I could use a rose water spray and the makeup stays on the whole day, which I really like. So yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you really like this look. I hope it inspires you um, and it gives you a few ideas of how to do like an easy, quick, well, semi-quick depending on how long you take, a quick um, makeup look to throw on your face if you want something a bit more there. Or if not, you can just basically put some moisturizer, your SPF, and a bit of mascara, lip balm, and you're good to go. I mean, I always do that for school as well. When I want to throw on a bit more something, 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 then I always wear this. And I really, really like it. So, yeah. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. It is inspired by her 19th birthday. I took the inspiration from her Instagram photo, which she posted here, and I'll insert it right now, around here. And... Uh, yeah, I hope you really like the tutorial. It's quite bronzy. It has a bit of a gold shimmer through it. I I'm not really sure if you can see on the camera, but it I really like it. It's quite bronzy. And yeah, if you like the video too, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in my next video.